Perhaps you're right, mm -hmm. Bobby Ray. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to bring out our guest. As you know, we here on the Cockerbury Morning Show love to share with you interesting people and Absolutely. places. Yes. And today we truly have an interesting person we do. who has an interesting hobby. Mm -hmm. Join me in welcoming Bart Saxton. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I'm from Fairmont here originally. Oh. Went away for a while, but I'm back again. I live out by Northrop, uh, and uh, I'm a computer support specialist. Very good. That, do you work out of your home, or do you in the area? Or? Work for modern office systems. I'll be darned. Well, that okay. sounds great, Bart, but what do you do for fun? I like to do medieval reenactments. I wondered if that might have something to do with what you were wearing. Really? Okay. So I have a very modern job during the week, and on the weekends, I drift off to the 13th century. Where would we see your production, or where would you have this on display? We don't really do it as a spectator activity. Okay. This is, uh, it's more fun if you actually do it than if you just stand and watch. I see, okay. One of the few requirements the organization has is that you make an attempt at pre-17th century clothing to participate. Oh, okay. So, and this, this, this would be, be an attempt. Just look at, listen, now, did, really where, did you make that or did, fortunately, no, I bought the chain. Okay. Shirt. And there are companies that produce this. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. And a lot of people within the organization produce it as well. So there, are, there are times when I've been with Sally Sue that I kind of wish I'd have had that. I just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, I'm sorry. It was just a little joke. Would protect you from the slings and arrows of adversity. Absolutely. Very well. I couldn't have said it better myself. Are you going to get one, honey? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about the it. The logo um, that's on your shirt is that significant of symbol? Oh, that's for you, or? that's my coat of arms. Within Your the program. organization. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, properly blazoned, it's argent, which is the heraldic term oh, for yes. white. Oh, okay. A sheep. Oh, okay. Rampant, okay. the okay. sinister sable, or in other words, a black rampant sheep within a red border ghoul. Oh, okay. What they call ghouls. Oh, so, okay. Argent, a sheep, rampant, a sinister ghouls. So when you travel off to the 13th century, do you have others travel with you? Or are you out there by yourself? I'm just I'm a little curious. <laughs> nope. Um, there's, uh, there's events just about every weekend really? that I go to. Um, I don't get to all of them, obviously. It's, uh, the group's called the Society for Creative Anachronisms. Ooh. It's an international organization. I believe last I heard there was around 40,000 paid members. In August every year in Pennsylvania, there's an event they would call the Penzik War, which has, I think last I heard, 14,000 people showed up for it. Now, when you Ooh. go to one of these events, do you um, have encampments or, um, I don't know if you would say tents or, you know, that type of thing? Yeah, what did they live in in up? the 13th or century? Or yes, we do. Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> All of the above. All the above. Depending okay. on what the event is. Sure. Obviously, in the winter, camping events aren't terribly popular. No, no, I wouldn't no. think so, especially in a metal suit. <laughs> especially in a metal suit. Um, so, you know, Holiday Inn would be an excellent choice in the winter. Mm -hmm. but, okay. and in, but in the summer, like the Penzik War, that's about a full week, 10-day camping trip. Really? Um, lots of Ooh. weekend events in the summer where mm -hmm. you camp out over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Tell us what takes place. I like to call it the good parts of the Middle Ages. We do all the fun okay. things from Middle Ages and try to skip over the bad parts. Okay. No, nobody recreates the plague. Okay. That's, so, that's a good yeah. idea. Skip over that. That's a great idea. And uh, the battle reenactments we have are what you would call chivalrous combat. Oh. Oh, okay. We're not out. It's not all an out war. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and we have very stringent safety requirements on the equipment, the armor, the behavior to make sure it's as safe as possible. But we get out in armor with shields, and instead of swords, we use sticks because they invented lawyers since the Middle Ages. Oh, <laughs> probably not one of the greatest inventions, but I understand. Um, unlike fencing, the contact has to be a solid blow. It can't just be a touch. Okay. So you have to have pretty good armor. But we also do tournaments, feasts, balls. Um, oh, really? A wide range of the arts and crafts of the Middle Ages are recreated. Do you want individuals to come and visu visualize or see what's going on or visit these programs? Personally, I think everyone should come out and okay. play with us. All right. That's good. Especially yeah. So where do you find more information on this then? The easiest <clears throat> way is the web. Okay. okay. It's kind of bad to mention the web when you're dressed like you're from the 13th century. <laughs> uh, the base website to start with would be www.sca.org. 
Okay. That would be the overall organization, the Society for Creative Anachronism. We've got an opportunity, Bart, to look at a town. We do this with most of our guests when they come on. Would you like to take a look at a city spotlight right now? I'd love to. Okay, let's take a look at one. Hey, give me a mic. Thank you. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is your Our Story announcer, and what is to follow? We'll show you some of the best places to go in Minnesota. To the best of our knowledge, nowhere in our country do they have a lifestyle equal to ours. Our towns and communities are what make us great. Ladies and gentlemen, Blue Earth is such a town. With Earth so rich, the city grows. Blue Earth is home to the Jolly Green Giant and is a popular site for recreational activities any season of the year. You can see sites such as the Wakefield House, the Etta C. Ross Museum, and yes, they have an aquatic park, fitness center, and much more. Oh yes, with outstanding businesses that invite you to stop in, take a look. And as I leave, remember, be sure to stop and visit the Jolly Green Giant and all the fine sights and shops in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Isn't that a great town, Bart? That was wonderful. I'm telling you. Now, you must have other clothing that you wear at these events. Would you share some of your clothing with us? Sure, I'd love to. Okay. Um, here is a, a rather uh, wild outfit that mm-hmm. I had made. Um, it's based on a German... 15th century moneyers guard. Really? Um, wow. These are the people that actually minted the money throughout the Middle Ages. Ooh. Um, the moneyers in Germany were confined to the mint to make sure they didn't run off and steal Ooh. anything. Much like bankers today. <laughs> Good idea. Except it actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> so when they're out running around, they had to wear this lovely. Uh, Loud clothing, both loud visually, and there's 10 sleigh bells on this outfit to make sure you could hear them coming so that they couldn't sneak off with a bar of silver. And (laughs) while they're out doing errands, they're under the protection of the crown so you wouldn't accidentally hurt them. Bart, you know, this has been great, but would you like to see one more city spotlight before you go? I can't imagine anything I'd rather do. Let's do one more. Hello there. I'm Lady Dot from Spotting Em, England. Yes, good to see you again. And today, right now, I am putting spots on my map on several small communities that I find to be spot on. And I'd like you to join me as we learn a little bit about some of these communities. In fact, I have one in mind for today that you might rather enjoy. So please join me as we explore this community together. Truman lies 20 miles to the north of the Iowa border in south-central Minnesota. Founded when railroad came through the area in 1899, their city features an independent school district, exceptional quality of life, and a safe atmosphere to raise a family. Take part in Truman Day, the last part of July, for lots of fun and socializing with friends and relatives. I think you'll agree that Truman is a truly great place to call home. Now, didn't I tell you that was one fabulous community? Now, let's take a look at some of their businesses.
That was wonderful. Oh, it was. I loved it. It's outstanding. I loved it. Oh, yes. And, you know, I must say, too, that we've loved having you as a guest. Bart, thank you again for coming, and thank all of our citizens Absolutely. for their great, fantastic reports. Yes. So at this time, we say see you next time on the Cockleburn Morning Show. Bye-bye for now.